What they like about speakers is a speaker that is able to actually sound like a normal human being and go to the heart of their issues with passion. You can actually interact with a whole audience and feel and make us feel like we know you and like you and are interested in your issue and actually have thought the same way. That's what this is really about. One of the things that, that, that Pamela needs to work on a little bit is something called packaging, which is basically how you break the text into word groupings. I have a moment to reinvest in what I'm thinking, what I'm feeling, reinvest in my voice. So we are going to learn the timing of how expression works. This whole technique is based on recreating what humans actually do when they're speaking passionately and spontaneously. Well, the reason people move all the time is because it feels, it doesn't challenge you, it, it feels natural after a while, constant movement. But really, it does, not, it does not help them and it does not help you. The only criticism I had for your speech was you were actually swaying from side to side. It would be more stable, so that if you finish one thought here, you'll have somewhere to go for the next one. Direct and diffuse. This is direct. Can you all do this? Direct. You are forward on your gravitational center. And this is diffuse. You are back on your gravitational center. They all share a common root. Boom. So the pattern, it's uncanny as human beings that when we speak spontaneously, we actually always have a direct followed immediately by diffuse. A lot of speakers think we just move arbitrarily. We don't, we don't. We move according to the fuel that we get off of what we're thinking. The arms are a frame. They are not an expressive device. If it's constantly struggling, you're struggling with the arms, then the voice starts to struggle. It keeps the voice very, very small as well. Two, I'm gonna plant, and then I'm gonna tuck. And I don't know how many PowerPoints I've seen where people are standing there talking, and they're literally standing here talking to that screen. Yeah. So what we do is we link on to our audience with our eyes, and we draw them to what, what we want them to, to see. And then we go back and watch them watching this, and watch them listening to us. Part of why we love Clinton, he gets a different tone on every line, every, every thought. That's real life. Every thought I have has different expression, a slightly different tone. Being a quick speaker, being a forceful speaker, being a loud speaker, being an energized speaker never gets the job done. You must have this, all these natural change-ups. Crucial tool of philosophy. Mm -hmm. and, then? and apply it to investigating a rather ordinary phenomenon. And then fall back. An apple. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And apply it to investigating a rather ordinary phenomenon.